Howdy everybody, my name is Jason and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a cool little house like this one right here in two point perspective. So let's go ahead and jump right in. If you guys haven't seen my two other videos on one point and two point perspective and you don't understand perspective, I recommend that you just go ahead and click on the links down in this, the description and they'll take you right to the video, watch them real quick, they're not very long, and then jump right back into this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have my background layer and I have my horizon line and I have my two points. And then I created another layer that we're gonna create our house on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create a vertical line, just like that. And then we're going to connect our two points from our vanishing point to the top or the bottom of our, what's going to be our cube and we're just going to basically do the same thing we did in my two-point perspective video. And we're just going to create a cube. And then we're going to create our two vertical lines on either side of the middle line. And then we'll just erase away the vanishing lines that we don't want. All right, pretty quick. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a triangle. And the quickest way to do that is to use our shape tool and we're gonna use the rectangle tool. And we're just going to create a square and hold down shift while you do it and that will allow you to create a perfect square. And then we're gonna make that a solid line and we want it to be the color black. Next, we're going to rotate our square and I'm holding down shift while I do that and that will click it into 15, 30, and 45 degree angles. And we want it at a 45 degree angle. So we'll leave it there, hit enter. Yes, enter. All right, now we're going to shrink that guy down using the transform tool once more, which is control T if I didn't mention in this video. And on a Mac, it's going to be command T and we're going to shrink this guy down so he fits into our cube, like that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to use the distort tool. So we'll right click, go to distort, and now we can drag this point up to the corner of our cube, and we can drag this point to the other corner of our cube. And then we want to grab this guy and we want him to be facing off so that this bottom line is going out to our vanishing point. If you want, you can go ahead and draw a vanishing line across there, but I'm just gonna eyeball it, so I think that's about right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter. And now I want to delete this bottom area so that we only have the top part and that will create our peak, the peak of our roof. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the erase tool. It's not gonna let me do that, because it's a vectorized shape. So I'm gonna hit OK, and that turns it into a pixel layer. So now I can, whoops, now I can erase that. So I'm gonna use the lasso tool, and I'm just hitting L on my keyboard, or you can come right up here. I want the polygonal lasso tool. I'm just gonna click from there to there. Whoops, try that again. Click from there to there, and then create a shape around this bottom area, connect it, and then just hit delete. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new layer. And on this layer, I'm gonna use my brush tool and I'm just gonna create a line from the peak of our roof out to this vanishing point. I'm gonna do the same thing for the bottom of our roof. Next, I'm gonna come back down to our roof shape and I'm going to copy it. I'll paste that. And then we're just going to use the transform tool once more and shrink it down so that it fits within our two vanishing lines like that. And the bottom of our roof shape should be at the bottom line and the top of our roof shape should be at the top line. And then I'm just going to erase away the unwanted area of our shape. Then we come, can come back to our wrong layer, vanishing line layer, and we can erase away the vanishing lines that we don't want. And that's the area we don't want. 
Now let's come back to our cube layer, which I believe is, nope, this layer right here. And we're gonna go ahead and erase away the corners of our cube where the roof has been created. Just like that. And now we have our basic shape for our house. If we turn off our horizon line, now we have a house in two point perspective, or at least the shape of a house. It kinda looks like a monopoly house. But what we wanna do is we wanna add a doorway, and we also wanna add a chimney. So let's merge all of our layers together that we have so far, except for our horizon line and our vanishing points. We don't want those to be part of the house. So we'll merge those layers. So now our house is one layer. Let's turn our vanishing line or our horizon line back on. And let's create our doorway now. So we'll just create two vertical lines for the sides of our door. And then we're going to create a line that will be the top of our doorway. So we'll click at the top of our vertical line, come all the way to our vanishing point like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and erase away this area. So now we have a doorway shape that's in perspective, but if this doorway is set in, then it needs to be kind of like ca cavernous, or I don't, I don't know what the word is, but you know what I mean. And so we're gonna come back to our brush tool and let's create a new layer. And starting from here, we're gonna come out to our vanishing point now we have the bottom edge of our doorway. Now we would do the same thing for the top, except the top of our doorway is below the horizon line. And so if we were to create a line from there to there, that would be covered by the house anyways, and we would just end up erasing it. So we are not going to do that. Let's go ahead and erase the areas of our vanishing line that we don't want. And now we have this cool looking doorway that kind of goes off into a tunnel but maybe we want a door in there and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna erase away a little bit of this bottom line and then using our brush tool again we're going to click from our vanishing point on this side and come all the way over to here and now we have the bottom of our doorway we can go ahead and erase away our vanishing line and then where these two lines meet, we're gonna create another vertical line like that. And now we have our little doorway in there. If you wanted to, you could add a little doorknob or a spy hole. Anyways, <laughs> so now let's add one last touch to our house. Let's add a chimney. So let's go ahead before we do that and merge all of these layers. And to merge them, I'm just clicking holding down shift and then clicking the bottom layer that I want and that will select all of those layers and then you right click and come to merge layers. It's not there because I only have one layer selected but it'll say merge layers. Okay, now we can add a new layer for our chimney and we're just going to create three vertical lines. So this plane, this is going to be one plane of our chimney and this is going to be the other plane of our chimney. So let's create a new layer now for our vanishing lines and we're just going to create a vanishing line to the top of our chimney. And we'll do the same for the bottom. A little weak, go back over that. Now let's come back down to this layer and we're gonna erase away those bottom parts. And now we can add, now we actually wanna copy this line right here on our house because we wanna replicate it along the ed bottom edge of our chimney. So we're gonna come back to our house layer and we're going to copy a little section of that diagonal line. So we're just going to go ahead and copy that, which is Control C or Command C on a Mac. And we're going to paste it by going Control V or Command V on a Mac. And now we're gonna grab that and drag it over to here. I'm gonna nudge it into place with my arrow keys. And then we wanna, whoops, my bad. I hit F on my keyboard, don't do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and erase away these areas. Then we can come back to our chimney layer and erase away this line. Come back to our vanishing lines. 
and we're going to create the vanishing line for this side of our chimney just like that then we can erase away this unwanted area come back down to our chimney and erase away this little top line and let's come back to our vanishing lines because I forgot to erase these lines All right, awesome. You just created your chimney on your house. Now this chimney is see-through right now because right now we can see the peak of our roof through it. So to fix that, we're gonna come back to our house layer and we're going to erase away anything that is behind the chimney, just like that. All right, let's turn off our horizon line and see how it looks. Cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If it did, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below, and I'll be bringing you guys many more videos like this one. Check out my YouTube channel if you're interested in more advanced stuff. My name's Jason, and have a great life.